hello friends in last uh, session we have saw the basics of angular macro frontends in this session we'll go over the project setup for angular macro frontends welcome i am uh, sachin uh, so basically yeah let's jump into this without wasting much more time first of all we'll create uh, one angular workspace for that reason uh, and i'll explain why i'm creating the workspace for that reason i'm selecting one folder path uh, and I will just select this. See, so I not a file. We'll have to select a folder path. Select a folder. So for this, I trust this. Now I am I am into the session two. We'll open the terminal window. Uh, and uh, first of all we'll create one workspace so workspace is basically uh, it is like one new application altogether so th the command is same again ng new and I'm giving a workspace like on bazaar suppose like our application works uh, name should be online application so I'm putting as a on bazaar but here I'm not creating actual application so I, I just need a blank workspace so for that create create an application false we don't need to create the application so I'm just putting this command so it will create one blank application so let it get created meanwhile uh, we'll go over the PPT so <coughs> so like how our project should be so the project setup should be like on bazaar is our workspace which I have just created I'll go over it what is work workspace and all uh, then there should be a host application inside that workspace this is our host or the container application then we have a products app which is a macro frontend one then we have a cards app that is a macro frontend two then we have a orders app that is a macro frontend three so we'll add these three macro frontends with the host application so <coughs> as i said what is angular works workspace so basically here you know I have added some points for that like a workspace contains the files for one or more projects so basically we are creating workspace in which we can have a multiple projects and whatever files we have created inside that workspace those can be shared along the respective projects so so basically you develop an application in the context of that angular workspace so what is then li like suppose we have created node modules and you know we have uh, configs so those can be shared all over the projects so that is the basically use of that workspace otherwise we can have one root application uh, in the last command you you saw like I have a, uh, put like create application false so that can if we remove that command then it will add some root application so basically that is just a angular uh, normal application so so like we have as I said on bazaar that is our workspace then that workspace can have their own node modules and the config files which can be shared over the projects where in in our case in projects we have our host app we have our products app we have our cards app and we have our orders app so basically these are the <coughs> this is what uh, we are going to create in this project so basically we have just created on bazaar workspace now we'll create uh, the projects will be created automatically you will be able to see that and inside that projects there should be a multiple applications like host application products application cards application and orders application we'll again jump to the application we can see here inside that on bazaar we just have a node models and nothing else you know this is a blank so we'll just move into that on bazaar and first we'll create ng now we will generate some applications ng g g is for generate application which application we want to be generated first that is our host app so this is our first application which will be created inside on bazaar so I'll, I've, I've just entered that command it is saying like uh, so no I'm not going over here so would you like routing yes of course we do need routing yes 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 and it will be adding 
if you can see here as I suggested the projects folder will be auto added automatically because these are the child projects inside this workspace so it will be adding all the required uh, the fol folder structure basically uh, which we uh, <coughs> which we create while creating a new angular application so that way we have just added a single host application uh, uh, let it get uh, added first then we'll move to the second and third so <coughs> basically these are the node modules which will be shared along all the child projects which get created now you can see here this is a host application it is still installing the required packages for this host application let it be finished uh, but this is our first uh, micro frontend this is also a micro frontend we can say because this is a just a host application a container application so let uh, let it be get finished first then you know we'll add uh, other three required projects so we'll we'll wait for some time once it get finished we'll add the uh, rest of the micro frontends I hope uh, because you know at the initial level only I have suggested that this micro frontends is basically for those who know the angular so I am not going over the in details for this package.json package lock angular.json because I am assuming that you all are aware about these uh, files so like you can see in projects we have created host application again we'll generate uh, ng g again application which application we want to that is a product app product app so again we are adding a micro frontend to the angular workspace so again do we not routing yes do we need a CSS yes so let it get added <coughs> so if I expand now this project you can see the host application is one then we have added the product app this is our first ma micro frontend again we'll have ng g again application which we wants to add like a cards app let it get added now you can see the cards app is getting added I can simply remove cards with orders app route I'll see I missed a command I think I'll, I'll yes So basically, if you can see here inside this on bazaar workspace, so I'm considering on bazaar as is our application, which is online bazaar. Inside that we have child uh, projects, which are those child pro child projects. The first one is cards app. Basically, this is a uh, sorry, uh, not uh, not a cards app. Sorry, this is a host app. Host app is basically to hosting the micro frontends. So this is a container application. Then we have orders app cards app and the products app these are are basically a small small micro frontends so this is our project structure uh, we'll switch again back to the ppt so these are the commands which i have uh, just added like engine on bazaar just for the create so so if you can see here i have just added create application false if we remove this this is basically a angular small angular application only nothing else so for creating workspace blank workspace we are just uh, adding create application false we are just going into the that uh, <coughs> workspace and we are generating rest of the applications uh, that we have already seen so basically this is our project structure which I have shown you here uh, and uh, in the next lecture we'll see like we'll add a webpack for model federation basically this is for uh, you know uh, generating this micro frontends uh, which should be 
uh, added to the host application which is in case our host or the container application so that uh, these micro front ends uh, how you know those are running under under one umbrella that we can see uh, uh, first uh, we'll add the webpack model federation for you in up uh, in the next uh, video so thank you